Hello everyone, let's look at this integral here. We have sine inverse of x, we are integrating this function here. So that's a inverse trig function. And um, just remember that this function cannot be written as one over sine of x, right? So don't do this. This is one over sine of x is actually cosecant of x. So remember, this is an inverse trig function, that minus one right there, it's not an exponent, it's a notation that indicate that that's the inverse function, or you can treat it as, a arc sine function. So let's just put that here. Okay, so that's just that. Okay, so now we can integrate this using integration by parts, even though it doesn't look like a product, but just like the Nash log of x function, we can pretend that it's sine inverse of x multiplied by one. So we can we can now set up the uv and du dv table here. So here we have uh, so let's let's just do that. So u is equal to something, and then du is equal to something, and then I need to leave some space right here. So let me see how much space that I should be leaving here. So it will be v and then dv. Hopefully this is enough. I, I think I need more space. So let me just do that one more time. So now, more space. Okay, so um, what should we let u be? Uh, because we're integrating the sine inverse of x, right? If we are putting it here, that's what we are trying to find out. So there is no way that we can figure out what v is if we do not know the antiderivative of the sine inverse of x. So we can only let u be sine inverse of x. So we put that right here. And then that means we got to choose our dv to be 1 times dx. And so integrating the dv would actually be easy, right? We just get x right here for the v. Uh, what is the derivative of sine inverse of x? If you remember, that's actually just one over the square root of one minus x squared and then dx. Okay, so that's that's the table and we have that set up already. Now we are going to uh, start writing down the results. So remember the formula for the integration by parts is uv minus the integral of v du, right? So we have u times v, so we have u times v here, which would be x and then times the sine inverse of x. And then now we are going to write down the part where we highlight in red, which is the negative integral of v du. So we have minus sign right there. So we have the minus sign and then the integral of v which is x, and then there was a du here, which is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, and then dx, right? So it's x times this thing, so we can put the x at the top of the fraction. So we are going to get x over the square root of 1 minus x squared, and then dx. And then so now let's look at this red integral here. You see that uh, we have a more complicated function right now as an integrand, but actually that's not too bad because as you can see here, this x right here, it's one power. If you look at the exponent, this is one, right? It's one less than the, the power for this one minus x squared inside the square root. So we can just simply make a u substitution for this problem. So let's just let make a u sub. So we are going to so here we do a u sub. So we are going to let u be actually, yeah. So we already used the uv and for the integration by parts. So it's better we use a new variable here. Let's call it w. And so we are going to let w be one minus x squared. And so that means we our dw would actually be negative two x dx. So just remember that we have we already have the minus and the x here already, right? So we have the negative x here. So all we need to do is to get the two on the other side. So we are going to get one half dw, and then that's equal to negative x dx. So remember, um, I didn't move the negative sign to the other side because I already have the minus sign here, even though that's not inside the integral, but we can always just move it in there. Okay, so. Right now, let's continue with our problem. So we have x sine inverse of x. This first turn right here, we don't really touch it anymore. It's already finished. Okay, so we have minus the integral. Okay, so this negative x, actually, if it's negative, right? So we should change it to a plus sign here. Yeah, so that sign would be changed to a plus. <clears throat> okay, so that negative x 
with the dx is changed to one half dw. So we are going to put one half and then dw right here. Uh, what do we have at the bottom? The bottom would actually just be square root of one minus x squared, but one minus x squared is w. So it will be the square root of just w. Okay. I don't know why I left so much space for the first step. So let me just move it up a little bit, just in case I run out of space. Okay, so that's that one. <clears throat> okay, so the next step is to just, just integrate this, right? So integrating this would be easy. We can just rewrite it first. The one half, we can take it outside the integral. We have one half and then the integral. We can rewrite this square root of w in the denominator as in the power form of the w. So we have w to the negative like one half and then dw here. So integrating that be one half here. Integrating this, we are adding one to the power, which is one minus one half, which is just one half. And then don't forget that you need to multiply by the reciprocal of whatever new power that you have here after adding the one, right? So you need to multiply by two. So we multiply by the, that two here. And see that when you multiply by two, that will cancel those twos out. And so we can write down our final answer. We have x sine inverse of x, and then plus, this is w to the one half. What is w? w is equal to one minus x squared. So we put one minus x squared right here. Uh, what is what is the exponent one half power? This is really just the square root of the on on the whole expression here, right? So we have the square root of this, and then plus c. And so that's finished. We only need to do it once. So if you encounter a inverse trig function, the usual way to do it is to let u be the inverse trig function and then let dv be whatever stuff that you have. I will do more complicated example next time. Okay, so thank you for watching.